Okay. Uh, one thing that's great about this camera is that it doesn't have that fisheye effect that a lot of other cameras have. Mm -hmm. So I actually look like, I don't know, I look like you would see me if you were a human being. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. You got... um, do you want me to post the stream? I just did. Okay, cool. We are streaming right now. We are? Yeah. Okay. I told you. Cool. All right. Um, I get my phone with the chat. Why don't you look on your we computer? We talked about this last week, too. <laughs> I know, and I can never remember. Um, because I like having this full screen. I see. Okay. All right. Yeah, butcher nerf got in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's happening. Um, so right now we're organizing the things from the week. We uh, we're we we're just busy talking about new amazing features to give you guys. So sorry, not sorry. Uh. <laughs> Are you streaming right now? Yeah, I am. You can't, can't you see the chat? Oh, here it is, yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool, yes. There I am. Uh, all right. <clears throat> We're getting in. Oh, my phone is talking. Um... That only. There we go. All right, we're we're going. All right. Uh, let me just double check this. Yeah, ten. I got one update. Okay. Ironically, the butcher change was not in the stat update week. Yeah, because it wasn't possible. Because the update was. Um, okay, so we're starting right now. Number one. Okay, number one, right. Wandering Dino. Yeah, this guy yeah. is so adorable. He it's is. Amazing. When you play a place, gain two XP. Yeah. Nice, simple I effect. Did we get the other one that was like the Sonic style uh, art in here as well? Because it seems very, like the art was I think, completely coincidentally very similar. I don't think it got in. Uh, that's too bad. Oh, well. Um, yeah, OK, so uh, this seems really straightforward. Yep. I'm really curious, to because people have been trying to make place-related uh, strategies work for a while. Um, basically, since like week 10 or something. Uh, would be cool if this if this got in. I mean, it's like efficiently statted, uh, but not absurd. So, yeah, I like this card a lot. Yeah, we'll fix that the ninety nine hit points thing soon. Didn't happen, did it? It didn't happen. <laughs> um, I think this might be a, an editor or a card creator related bug. Sometimes this happens. Like, if you draw, try like, um, Oh, is it triggered on versus triggering I think it's object? triggering object. Ooh, okay. Let me try this version. Okay. Triggering 
object. Yeah. Wait, no. I... Was it triggered yeah. on or triggering? The original was triggered on. The new one we're trying out is triggering object. Uh, all right. Yep. I got to make it zero. <clears throat> Flying rebound, minor demon. It's gonna get you. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, the chat says it should be triggering off At this point. I believe them. Alright, best draft in the game. This okay. And it doesn't have an animation. Only really awesome art. But I guess that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean the XP thing is it animates, so I would say that is definitely fine. To yeah. Be honest. Um, okay, so five hundred. Yep. Unfortunately. Quest for the Grail. All right, this card's cool. Well, the fixed version you put that in. Oh, there. that's right. I gotta get. Let me get the fixed version real quick. Speaking of uh, BGG testing its cards, did a great job here by uh, testing this one a few days after it was posted. <laughs> and it looked like it would actually get in um, and sent us the fixed version. So thank you very much for that. Oh, and you know what I can do now? I can actually uh, put this in my starting deck. Oh, yeah. You can, yeah. Oh, wow, Bestow Honor's not getting in. That's kind of unfortunate. Ugh, there's so many good cards now. It's crazy. I guess I should say, there's so many like cards with amazing art now. Because <laughs> there's, there's always been like good cards. Yeah. But, uh... All right, there it is. Yeah. Is, is that... How does it do that? <laughs> yeah ah uh, yeah players know that card creator better than us I love it <laughs> um yeah um alright frogs at the round table okay how does this does it is it like comparing the blueprint that can't be that uh that can't be that, that can't be how it works because it would rep, refer thirteen cards, and then the Holy Grail is also a card, so that would be too many. Yeah, so it's not referring. Oh, it doesn't count. Oh, it's the name. Mm, okay, that's why they, that's how they did it. Okay. Uh, I'm fine okay. with I'm fine with comparing names or blueprints unless it's something that's likely to be a token. Honestly. All right. Like we're not letting people put in cards that have the same name as an existing card. Uh, uh, the the I think it's called like the the nameless already does that. It uh, copies something's name. So. Well. <sighs> yeah, you know, I was thinking. Um, I don't know. What do you think about? Uh, removing the 13 thing. Which which one? The max 13 cards referred by a card. Uh, I don't know if it if it ever matters. <laughs> it seems I don't know why you would need to refer to more than 13. I guess. Yeah. I mean here. It uh, is happening right now. Like he couldn't have done it without doing the name thing. Um, Luco says maybe everything should check by name. I hate to say it, but uh, like I think over time we will inconsistencies in some form or another are somewhat inevitable. I know that sucks, but. Uh, uh, okay, what's the thing that makes a bunch of this? It's this one, yeah. Oh, that. That's another frog-related one, yeah. 
And there's one. Hold on. Damn it, Nick. Get out of my. <laughs> Here we go. Uh. Create as many. Okay, yeah, this is great. Okay, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Ooh, get in here. I can't believe this card isn't good. Or is it? Like, at any, in any reasonable, in any reasonable card, card game, it would be insane. <laughs> um... Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, nice. I love it. That UI. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess that's fair that they're mediocre and they cost a lot. Okay. And now we just sit here and wait. Four. I think that the reason that we didn't want to have, um, I think the reason we didn't want to have cards that can refer more than thirteen external cards is so that we would um, not, uh, so we wouldn't get things like whiz bang, and then people like kind of revolting against the idea of the economy by making all of the decks just like individual cards but in retrospect that's like a completely absurd concern i feel like uh i don't know <clears throat> luca makes a good point instead of 13 being the magic number for collective it's now zero your hand limit is zero. Number of possible external cards is zero. That would uh Max mana is zero. <laughs> Draw until you have seven cards in your hand. That is uh Oh. I think the, the... game just broke. <laughs> hmm. Okay. That's uh That's not a good sign. No. Uh BGG, come on. Come on, son. Alright, well uh <laughs> I guess this is going in limbo. Uh yeah, we'll take a look at this later. I don't think we have time to figure out what's yeah, going let's... on and draw another seven cards. Okay. <clears throat> Makeshift army. <clears throat> oh man, we got two of these in this week. <laughs> we got this and absolute return. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't even really like the board gamer card that much. I just like the meeples a lot. I also just like the idea of one ones with duelist. I just think that's really a fun mechanic. Um, Cause you know, you just like, kind of flick them at your opponent like they're pokeballs in Pokemon Go or something. Um, yeah. One of the few like really f like viscerally fun physical feeling things. Um, so uh, this definitely works yep. um can i see the card again mm -hmm. uh spend your remaining mana yeah okay so i think this is 
in line with the grammar choices that people have. Uh, I remember people were talking about grammar for this effect. Um, yeah, Dark Lord Adrian. Has Adrian gotten a card in the game yet? Uh, if not, then congratulations. I think he, I think they they have gotten a card in the game, but I'm not sure. Somebody told me. <laughs> Mirror Maiden. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a whole thing. Yeah, this is a cool card. It is, yeah. Um, and uh, this is a nice case of... Uh, this was... Um, this is Rock Angel, right? Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, Thing was uh, right. The draw logs are all from Adrian. That's correct. Those are cool as well. Uh, yeah, this was originally like it was like a five five for five, um, and uh, then it also had this great ability. Um, Man, this is really interesting because it could be like a unit. It could be. Yeah, it's cool, right? Uh, yeah, just probably. You could use like the Zill guy to like Oh yeah, that's yeah, somebody brought that up. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, well that card's ridiculous already, so it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? Uh well I don't have a way to kill it. <laughs> yeah, I think with Zill you get infinite copies of both. Oop. There you go. Sweet. I don't. I don't remember the math. I think you might get infinite. Um. I think you might get infinite mirror maidens, but not infinite zills. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, that's great. Yep. Yeah, the art's amazing as well. Of course. It's by Rock Angel. Like, what do you expect? So accustomed to this already. <laughs> <laughs> if the new artists get hit by a train, it's going to be like, it's going to be rough. All right. Yeah. Another card by Dark Lord Adrian. Awesome. <clears throat> Our artist is Dark Lord Adrian. Uh, yeah. So this is, I'm not, I'm not sure about testing this, but. Oh yeah, collaborators is a uh, not uh, does not reflect that. Yeah. So um, maybe we can. Fix that up. <clears throat> See, here's the thing about connection disruptor. It is disruption. <clears throat> good. Right. So everybody's happy. Uh, and what are the what's the corrupt packet do? If this uh, is in your hand at the end of the turn, take two damage and discard this. When you draw this, draw another card. Yeah. So it's like it fills up their hand temporarily or something. Um, and you take two damage from it. Okay. Yeah. So like, there's been a bunch of dis discussion on the Discord over the last week of like mid range and disruption units and how there's not enough of either of those things in the game and maybe that's why. We have this grindy meta. Um, this isn't this, really disruption. It's uh, yeah, but it's like this is a card. It's not just you're you're right, but um, except in the weird way that it that it is in collective because of the thirteen cards being not enough cards. Yeah, um, I mean it's it's like uh, you know it's like mill um, in Hearthstone. Yeah, great great about there. Um, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, it's like Mill and Hearthstone where like it's not actually Mill, it's like you, you draw cards until you have too many cards in your hand and stuff. Which is uh, you know, not uh, um I mean you know you know, in a way it's like a good solution to the problem, right? Uh, BGG says the bug in the, the trophy, the holy grail is um that draw you draw a negative amount of cards and then the game crashes uh 
<laughs> well, <laughs> we should probably fix that. <laughs> yeah, probably. That's it's uh, it's our bad, I think. Yes. I mean, we'll we'll have to investigate. We already, we were trying the fixed version uh, thing with Fisher. But that one's still an issue, unfortunately. It's okay. I mean, we'll. Okay, like... there it is. Ooh, got him. Wow, they. The this does this card shuffle? Oh, that's not the right card. Yeah, it does. Okay, great. It does? Okay. So they just happen to draw a lot of them. Yeah, I mean... 13 is... Yeah, okay. 13 is a lot. Like, that's really going to hurt, which is... I don't know. Like I said, it's not it's not disruption, but it definitely, it definitely screws over control players, and it's a six drop, so I don't know. I think the only thing that really would make it better for this is if it was more efficiently statted. Uh, yeah, it is pretty... It is pretty damn good. Like... Yeah. It, like if you could only have one in your deck then maybe, but like as it is you're you know, you're adding 36 or I can't do math, but like yeah, 26 damage over the in rest the of the game. Yeah. And then if you drop like two of them, which is pretty reasonable, uh you have a lot of inevitability. So it feels more like a control card to me than a than a disruption card. Uh oh. I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see. The other thing is that everybody's running like totem, so they don't. Everybody has like forty five HP effectively, and like the seraph nerf is only minus three HP. So like I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm gonna make an early call and say this might be good for the meta and bitcoin uh okay oh i love this card in the game that there's by the way this will never be dethroned as the cutest art that, any, that anybody has ever made for any card game in all history this beats karibo or whatever uh <laughs> this beats pikachu from the pokemon trading card game this is the cutest shit ever uh as far as the effect i feel like I don't actually know if you would want to. I don't know. <laughs> would you want to play this in a box deck? Because you have to go to fourteen to play it. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's. Uh... Yeah, if it were me, I don't know if I would have added the 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 cost increase. Yeah. Well, the problem is the the reason that they did that is because. Um... Because Vox is Vox scales like too well with attack. Hmm. Um, because Vox is Vox is that card where it's like it starts with three attack and then and then you know, it, it has the um, like nukes everything. Yeah, but it it does exactly its attack to all the enemy units. So if it's like <clears throat> if it's like six attack, then you know it's like Raigeki or something. It's just insane. Mm -hmm. um, which is fine for 13 mana card so deal with it uh i don't know uh yeah <laughs> like 13 mana cards probably should win you the game just gonna just gonna say that uh, i don't i don't agree with that but uh <laughs> some pig latin there Well, it increased the cost of my spell that I accidentally made that is a god. <laughs> Which I guess is what should happen. Yes. Also increases the cost of cool. Yeah. And and buffs him if he's already in play. Yeah. Oh man, 
So good. Yep. Oh, I forgot to make this one a god. I'm stupid. Uh, anyway, the card works. It works. Kill Pack Hunter. I do have to say, like, I haven't seen the draw log deck in action yet. <clears throat> And I'm kind of worried that once somebody starts playing it, they'll be like, wait, all these cards are insane <laughs> when you play them together. Because, like, one gets in, like, every week or two. And uh, they all, you know, get stronger with each other. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is kind of a not part of any archetype at all. It's just got amazing art that looks like it was watercolored on a real canvas. Uh, yeah. Um, bless or equal. Okay, so the right. only praise on the week, you know. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what effect the draw log card has on the game. I mean, like, at the very least, it will make sure that control matchups are shorter, right? Like, even if it, even if the meta doesn't change at all, and both players, and the draw log is just really good, and both players play it, but there's still, it's still all control matchups, like, at least the games will end a little faster. Well, I mean, is yeah. that really how we want to, like, address <laughs> the, uh, I don't know. Okay, so this requires its target to already have the low HP. I guess that's fine. I mean, I think I, I can see what you're saying. Like, the problem is that, you know, this card, like, maybe has an effect on a meta, and, um, uh... Like if it's too if it's too big of an effect, it'll get nerfed, and then we'll be back where we were. And that's kind of that's a reasonable concern for sure. Oh no! Damn it! <laughs> okay. uh, you need to you need to kill that. Um... <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Embarrassment. <laughs> this is all on stream. We're being watched. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> it's like, maybe I'll just sneak this in while Nick's blathering about some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> about how clearly the way to solve the meta is to have a, a card that shuffles damaging effects into the opponent's deck. Like, fucking hell, man. All right. Uh, do whatever you want. It's true. You don't have to listen to any of those rules from other card games that have been around for twenty five years. Yeah. Even like, why? Games. Why have a board? <laughs> uh, All right. Butcher nerf. This is this is perfect. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I really like this. I actually really like the butcher. Me too. Um, it was too a little good. too good, <laughs> especially yeah. with the the summon draw card was ridiculous. Uh, yes. Yeah, I mean that's that's the thing is that like I don't know. I always try to say this. I don't think anybody listens when I say it, but like if you make your card like really well statted and also you know can trip and then also have this effect, people aren't really going to pay attention to the effect. They're just going to play it because it's amazing anyway, and then you'll just have like a bunch of crazy effects happening all the time. So if you have some card with a cool effect, you want it to, uh, you know, you want to understat it to an extent. Like Mirror Maiden, so that the effect of the card is more noticeable. Okay, absolute return. Well, we can't do this right now. Whoops. Spend your remaining mana, return the topmost. the topmost unit. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, spend your remaining mana, return the 
topmost unit in your graveyard. I would just say top unit. Return the top unit in your graveyard that costs that much or less to play. I didn't think to play is unnecessary here. Uh, it is weird, grammatically ambiguous, but it's also like just saying return the top unit in your graveyard so, no, is I not a. Said... Sorry. Oh, oh, two pl Oh my god. That's what they meant. I didn't get that at all. They're like, <laughs> turn it to play. I thought it was like, it costs this much to play. Uh, yikes. Okay. Oh, well, you got me. Um, so uh, I guess it's good. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, I might have broken something in the uh, the admin thingy. Uh, okay. Fix. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Other than that, um, let's test top, it out. I mean, top unit that cost that much is I would still say pretty clear I, I just I don't know I think the top most is just kind of an awkward word yeah top top is fine I think sorry to Hazar Okay. All right. Card oh. works. Yeah. Most likely. Uh, <clears throat> can I can I see the blocks? I just want to make sure it's like checks if it's a unit and um filtered. So first item from yeah. Yep. That's right. Cool. Wait. So the first item. Um, okay, yeah, okay, perfect. Right. Uh, 2,000. Yep. Great. 2,100 emojis for this one. And we use some Dino Lee art. Uh, looks great. Mm -hmm. All right, last card of the week. Yuk Yuki? Yeah, um, they want Grief to be a collaborator on Yuk, by the way. Okay. Well, I can, okay, add, uh, okay, great. <clears throat> can I be a collaborator? Because I also uh, <laughs> enabled the blocks on this one. Uh, oh, the cards are golden. <laughs> the current elite unit takes damage against attack equal to the damage taken. Oh no! Ooh. Very emotes. That's a new one. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's the same as the invite a friend animation in the friends list. Um. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it didn't work. I'm still figuring out the bug, so it's discharge biologist. Okay, should it go in limbo for now? Probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I wrote that on the to-do list. To do list, you know, the the fourth to-do list that we have. I I yeah. You don't want to hit the zero one. It doesn't doesn't do yeah. anything. Uh, yeah. Also, all my shit is. I guess we'll just do this guy. <clears throat> uh. 
Um, BGG is fixed. Grail, why are there two links here? Oh, it's, I see. Okay, well, I'm going to copy this and then um, send it to you. Okay. Cool. All right. BGG. All right, that looks good. Yep. Um, and now for the nerfs, what everybody's been waiting for. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, we got a couple of nice cosmetic updates. Yeah, that's right. Lizaboy looks amazing. And uh, Consume is. Uh, yeah, this one's amazing. Look at that thing. Um, one second, let me get this open in uh, code. Ooh. Loading hacking tools. <laughs> Tools that let you open links. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, this one is pretty borderline, by the way. <laughs> yeah, severed arm. Uh, yeah. If you squint, it's not that bad. Yeah. It just looks like she has a weird arm. So. Yeah. Uh, fuck it. Art's too good for us to turn this down. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, these are great. Yes. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, Arbor Consume is amazing. All right, Pack Raptor is down to uh, a zero two. Yeah. From a zero three. Yeah. Seems great. Yep. Card's always been pretty strong. Old yep. Witch. Also. Only seven. Uh, uh, still mad. Oh, you wanted it. Um, you wanted it more. Yeah. I did. Uh, course capitulation. Who did this? Yeah, good, good job, oh, Nick. You really fail. <laughs> One attack. What is this bullshit? Um, this costs more. That's good. Yep. Um. Yeah. Absolute fire nerf. Great. Yes. Lazabo uh, Ripper. This seems unnecessary to me. Uh, it was a six two before. <laughs> like, I uh, don't know. This seem I don't know. This either seems fine to me. Yes. Vox. What happened Vox to Vox? Has two base HP or attack for the reason that I told you about. Oh, okay. That seems reasonable. Yep. Uh, Shimmerling is uh, five, five now instead of four. Okay. Not enough. Uh, Scourge of the Night is now a 4-4 four, four instead of a 4-7. Good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We should just make every every week nerf week. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my god. Luco, please don't do that again. That is that is cruel. They were making me really sad. Uh, he says he pub stomped a poor new player with three uh course capitulation the nerf i posted isn't even good enough that that card is so fucking stupid it's so <laughs> it's like it's a cool design for sure but man is it bad for the meta like uh it's just bad like you play it and whatever i've people know my thoughts on this card yeah uh, uh... I don't know. I should have posted like get zero until the end of next turn. I regret it. It was like eleven thirty when I posted that because I just <laughs> it was like looking around. I was like nobody's posted this nerf yet. What is happening? Yeah, that wouldn't have qualified as a stat nerf though. That's oh yeah, that's true. Right. And Dimmerling. Yeah, which by the like, I I don't see people play Dimmerling as much as Shimmerling. I don't know why Dimmerling needs to cost six and Shimmerling needs to cost five, but whatever. Yeah, I feel like Shimmerling seems like the better card. But I don't know. I yeah. guess in Butcher meta, maybe Dimmerling's really good. Well, it's not anymore. So I mean, I'm pretty sure people are still going to play the Butcher at 8. I 
I don't know how many times you played the big Heldon deck, but it's like you basically wait until you draw the butcher and then you just go off like crazy. But until then, every card you're drawing is just like it's like the rock or, or something. It's like, you know, they're all like pretty good cards with summon effects. And then the the insane part happens when you get like two seraphs or something, you know, mm -hmm. like that's when things start to go completely insane. Uh, anyway, um, is that it? That is it. Okay. Uh, no announcement this week. Um, but, uh, but we're working uh, on something. Yeah, we're working. Yeah. We were just talking about it beforehand. Um, so we'll tell you more. When we know more about that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Yep. And, um, we'll see you guys next week. See you.